What's up guys? So pretty much everyone is working remotely these days and when you are working remotely and you take a lot of video calls, one key thing to have is very good video quality. So maybe your laptop doesn't have a very good inbuilt webcam. This is where this comes in. This is the brand new Obspot Tiny. It's an AI powered PTZ webcam. PTZ standing for pan, tilt and zoom. Now there's two key functionalities that I really like about this. The first one being AI tracking, which means you can keep yourself center framed, move around and it will track you with stable, smooth movement. The second one is gesture control. So you can start and stop the AI tracking and you can also zoom in remotely with some gestures from your fingers. I'm gonna test that out as well as all of the other functionalities of this nice little looking tiny webcam for your laptops, your computers, desktops, wherever it may be. So let's go ahead, start off with unboxing it and let's dive in and look at the functionality. Okay, let's open this up. You can see it's so compact. It has a very nice design. Let's pull this out. So you can see there is a two axis gimbal. It will pan left and right and it will tilt up and down. So very convenient for all your video calls. So you have another box in here with the accessories. You have yourself the power cable. You also have a USB-C cable to power the device. And if you have a MacBook Pro like myself, where you only have USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, then this will be very convenient for that. So you wouldn't need to plug in directly into the wall outlet. And finally, you have a magnetic mount for positioning this on top of your laptop screen. So you have a 3M sticker there as well. All you need to do is mount the webcam on that. And then you can just clip this to the back of your laptop and I will showcase how to do that. Now at the bottom of the webcam, you see there's a quarter inch screw there, so you can actually mount this on a tripod as well. In addition to that, all you can do is just mount this on top and it's a very strong magnet and this will hold very well if you want to place this manually on top of your laptop. Now I'm going to showcase how to mount this in various positions for you guys as well. Before we do that, let's just take a little bit of a closer look at the webcam. So just looking at the webcam, you can see it has the Obspot logo there. What you can't see at the moment is a little screen here which actually lights up. There's four different colors that will light up on here. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Each of the lights that appear here indicate a different status. Now to see what each of them are for, you can read the information from the user manual here, but I will quickly scroll for you guys. So you can see there's up to three lights that will appear on the front panel, each of them meaning a different thing. On the back of the webcam, you have two ways to turn this on. You can use the USB-C port or you can use the DC input. Now, if you have a laptop that is not compatible to power it via USB-C, then you will need to plug this in with the DC adapter. So now let's go ahead and see in a couple of different positions how to mount this. So to use the magnetic mount on your laptop, you just open it up from the back, you position it where you want to, and then you place this by pushing that inwards so the top panel is horizontal. Once that's quite secure, you can use the 3M sticky tape to have it attached to the back of your laptop, and this would allow you to actually close the laptop perfectly fine with that on. So you take the webcam, you position it right on top, and then you snap it into place, and there you go. Just make sure it's quite tight. I would recommend if you wanted to use the 3M sticky tape that's behind this part here, then do that and keep it solid on your laptop if you're going to be using this every day. Otherwise, it's there, it's pretty solid. You can see if I move it back, the magnetic hold is quite strong, but always try to keep it in this straight position if you are not going to use a tape, because just remember, this can easily be removed like so. So that's one way to mount this on your laptop. The second way is to use a tripod mount. So in fact, this is my preferred way. I'm going to be having it on a tripod just because of the flexibility of me being able to move it around and reposition it manually myself without having to worry about repositioning it on top of my laptop. The other thing I'd like to mention is that you can secure yourself with privacy if you don't want anyone to look at you by just flipping the lens downwards and it will face towards the bottom. No one will be able to see you. So once you've finished your video calls, if you feel uncomfortable, then you can just place it down and it will stay there and no one will be able to see you. So that's a very good security and privacy feature there as well. So now let's run through a little bit more about the specifications of what this thing can do. 
This webcam also has auto exposure and auto white balance built into it, so there's no need for buying a separate studio light to brighten your image. It also has built in dual omnidirectional mics with noise cancellation, which I think is great because then you have great sounding audio to complement great looking video. The size of the webcam is quite light, it's only 146 grams without the mount and it's 175 grams with the mount. The max video resolution of the camera is 1080p at 30 frames per second. It uses the H.264 codec and it has a field of view of 90 degrees. The appearance mixed with the size and weight of this webcam is the perfect thing you need for all of your remote working video conference calls. And lastly, this is all complemented by an app that you can download for free to control all of the main functions of the webcam that I've mentioned so far, available for both Windows and for Mac. So now let's test this out by setting it up with my MacBook Pro and giving you a sample video call using Zoom and testing out some of these features. All right guys, so plugging in the webcam for the first time, I'm using the adapter from my MacBook Pro. You'll see it will light up and it will recenter itself to face me. There you go. Wait till it's green and now it's ready to use. So I'm going to start up a Zoom meeting here. So the microphone has now been selected for Obspot Tiny Audio. If I turn the video, I will choose Obspot Tiny and I will enable it. There we go. As you can see, it's pretty clear. Now the one thing I just wanted to show as a comparison is the difference between the inbuilt video quality. So you can see it's very blurry, it's grainy, it's not too sharp. So switching over, it's absolutely clear. The other thing I would recommend is if you don't see it too clear, go into your settings for your video application. So in Zoom settings under video, I have to enable HD. If I take that off, it will by default just use the basic quality. So I'm leaving HD on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this session to give you guys an example of how it performs by using AI tracking and gesture control as well. At the same time, I'm recording audio as well. So you guys can take a look at how the audio comes out using the inbuilt dual omnidirectional microphones on the Opswat Tiny. So the first thing I wanted to showcase to you guys is that you can actually control the position of the camera manually. So you, all you have to do is just move it around, point it up and down. So you've got the pan and the tilt. So I'm just gonna position myself there. If I wanted to present a meeting, maybe use a whiteboard and move around, then I can use AI tracking. To do that, all I have to do is hold up five fingers in front of the webcam. You can see it goes blue, it lights up green. That means the AI tracking is now on. So if I start moving around slowly, it keeps me in center frame. And I think it's working very well. The video quality is excellent. So if I keep moving this way, you'll see it does a very good job tracking me. So now, if I'm in a position where I'd like to showcase something, a product, a whiteboard, but the camera is a little bit too far away, then all I need to do is hold up two things like this. And you can see how quick that zoomed in. It's two times zoom. And now I'm ready to present a little bit closer up and the quality is still very good. So for me, I'm amazed. And at the zoom level, I can still continue AI tracking and keep me in sense of frame by moving around. So now if I go back to my desk, I can sit back down and I can stop the AI tracking by just holding up five fingers and now it's stopped. I can zoom out. So what do you guys think about the gesture controls and also how do you think the audio comes out? So for me personally, I had a playback. I think it's so clear. And if I was going to be presenting at any video calls or anything at work like that, I will have the best capability to do so with this webcam. So definitely check it out. And the last thing I wanted to showcase to you guys is that there's an app you can download to complement your webcam. If you go to the Opspot Tiny website, go on to download, then you can either download the Windows or the Mac OS application, and you'll be able to very easily control your camera through the software rather than through gesture control. So it's completely up to you, it's very flexible. Here's a quick overview of the application in use. So the app is pretty straightforward. You have yourself the joystick here on the right hand side. Depending on how far you go, you can actually control the speed of the webcam. So if you just navigate quite slowly, then the camera will move quite slowly as well, depending on how far you move the joystick, as you can see here. You also have the zoom slider, which you can use 
very easily you can zoom in as you need to then you have the lock button for the ai tracking which i think is great so you don't need to worry about putting up five fingers to try and make sure it picks up the gesture it's just quick and easy and it's always there ready for you to use and then once you've finished ai tracking you can simply click on tap unlock and it will stop the tracking there's also a settings button to go through some of the different settings for the application as you can see here all right guys i'm super happy with this purchase this is 199 dollars on the remo ai website the link is in the description below make sure you check them out if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe i've got tons of really cool gadget videos coming out very similar to this and i will catch you guys next time take care Thank you.